What is a singleton class in Java? A singleton class is a special kind of class designed in such a way that only one object of that class can ever exist in the entire Java application. No matter how many times you try to create a new object, the class ensures that the same instance is returned every time. Singletons are used when you want a single, global, shared object that coordinates something across the application. Examples include a logging system, a database connection manager, a cache manager, a configuration loader, or a thread pool manager. The core idea behind the singleton pattern is controlling object creation by restricting how many instances are allowed. Now let's look at how to implement a singleton class correctly. Every singleton class in Java follows three simple rules. First, the constructor must be private so no one outside the class can call new and create another object. Second, the class must create a single private static instance of itself. Static means the object belongs to the class and not to any specific user. Third, the class must expose a public static method that returns the same instance every time someone requests it. This method is usually called getInstance. Now let's understand this with a clean and simple demonstration. We will create a singleton class called logger. This logger object will be created only once and reused everywhere. Now let me walk you through this entire program step by step so you clearly understand how the singleton pattern works. We begin by creating a class called logger. Inside the class we create a private static variable named instance and assign to it a new logger object. Because instance is static, it is created when the class is loaded into memory even before main starts. Next we make the constructor private. This is the most important part. By making the constructor private, no code outside this class can call new logger to create another object. This ensures that the only logger object that can ever exist is the one stored in instance dot. Now we create a public static method called getInstance. Whenever someone needs a logger object, they call logger dot getInstance. This method simply returns instance. It does not create a new object even if you call it a thousand times. Now let's move to main. We call logger.getInstance and store the result in L1. Then we call logger.getInstance again and store the result in L2. Even though we called getInstance twice, only one logger object was created. Both L1 and L2 point to the same instance stored inside instance. When we print L1 double equals L2, the result is true. This confirms that both variables reference the same object. This is exactly how singleton works. One instance, one object, one shared resource accessible to the entire application. Now let's quickly discuss a very common interview extension. Lazy initialization. In our earlier example, instance is created eagerly as soon as the class loads. This is called eager initialization. But sometimes, you want to create the instance only when it is needed to save memory. This is called lazy initialization. If you look at this code here, this creates the object only on the first call to get instance. But remember, this basic lazy version is not thread safe. If two threads call get instance at the same time, they may accidentally create two objects. To fix that, interviewers expect you to mention the thread save version using synchronized. So here, just add a synchronized keyword to make it thread safe. Here is the clean final summary you can speak confidently. A singleton class in Java is a class that allows only one object to be created for the entire application. It uses a private constructor, a private static instance, and a public static getInstance method to control object creation. Singletons are used for logging, caching, database connection management and other shared resources. That is the complete interview ready explanation of what a singleton class is and how to implement it in Java.